Hi, I'm John. And I'm Dean. And you're watching Chimney Cricket TV. Today we are talking about pilot controls, the different types of pilot controls, and how to replace your pilot control. This is something that goes bad on every gas log set, probably before the gas logs. Gas logs typically are refractory cement, and they're going to last a while. But if you had any kind of water, or your unit's not working properly, or you want to upgrade, Dean's going to go through a couple of steps of what you need and what part numbers you're going to need to get that taken care of. Right now, we're going to touch base on a gas pilot control, a manual gas pilot control. Gas safety pilot control. This provides 100% shutoff of the pilot and main burner gas supply. It is equipped with three position gas control knob to light the pilot and adjust the pilot flame. If the pilot flame goes out or there is insufficient pilot flame to provide proper thermocouple output, the gas safety pilot control will close, stopping the flow of gas completely. All right, uh, safety manual controls. Dean, what kind are there? Uh, well, your typical gas log, your typical full vented gas log unit is just going to come with a manual valve, which is just going to be a valve inside the firebox or outside of the firebox possibly that you're going to have to open the valve and light it with the lighter. Um, a lot of people are afraid of that. A lot of people don't like that because they can get gas built up inside the firebox and they can get an explosion of gas inside the firebox that, is a lot, that scares a lot of people. Um, so to avoid that, we can install, we can upgrade you to a, either a standing pilot light valve or a standing pilot light millivolt valve with a remote control. And we're going to talk about both types of uh, valves today. All right, so going from the uh, manual safety pilot control, there's, there's, there's two types of gases. First of all, you need to determine what type of gas you have. What are the two types of gases? Uh, you're either gonna have natural gas or you're gonna have liquid propane. Okay, and so if they're trying to replace their current uh, pilot system on their gas log, how difficult is, of a job is that, Dean? Is it, is it real hard? Uh, no, this is a pretty easy job. Uh, a, you know, a decently experienced do-it-yourselfer could absolutely handle something like this. Okay, first of all, what you want to do when you're uh, changing out the valve is you want to shut the supply of gas off. So if there's a valve inside the firebox that you can do that with, shut it off inside the firebox. If not, you may have to trace the line back until you can find the nearest shutoff. Sometimes the installer didn't put a shutoff valve in it, and you may have to shut the main off. If you have to shut the main off, remember that uh, when you turn the main back on, you're going to have to relight your pilot light on your furnace and your hot water heater. But it's very important that you shut the gas off before you start uh, disassembling this unit. Uh, here we have a burner pan. Um, you're going to have a line coming into the firebox that is going to be connected to, here we have a manual valve going to a full vented gas log burner pan. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to disconnect this manual valve and you're going to connect your pilot assembly valve to the intake line here and then your gas line is going to go into the other side of the valve. This is where your standing pilot light is going to be connected to the pan and then your valve is going to be hidden back here behind the log unit itself. Uh, remember that uh, all of your fittings you need to use pipe putty or Teflon tape on all your fittings to ensure that there are no gas leaks in between your fittings. Um, so once you're uh, once your standing pilot assembly is in place, um, basically it's the same way to light the pilot light as it would be on a hot water heater or furnace. Uh, you turn the knob to the pilot position, hold it in, uh, physically light the pilot light itself, hold the, hold the knob in for 30 seconds to allow the thermocoupler to heat up. Once you let go and it stays lit, then you can turn it to the on position. What this does is it maintains a flame that when you open the valve, when you turn the knob from low to high, it starts the flow of gas and the pile light will ignite the gas and the log unit will come on. Very nice. So determine what you need, you, you, what system you have, whether it's propane down in the south or, or out in the country, or if it's gas, if it's your local gas, a natural gas. Determine what, what type of gas you have and you will see attached to the video here what, what uh, kind of pilot you need for manual pilot control. Manual pilot control is just for typical use. I mean, most people keep them on 
throughout the winter. You'll have a damper clip in the damper where the flow of uh, gas will be able to, to escape out the chimney. But do, do they shut them off in the, in the summertime? You can. Um, I mean, you're only talking pennies a day to operate a pilot light. Um, but yeah, it, it would be recommended uh, in the summer, um, spring, sometime when you're done burning, to go ahead and sh completely shut the unit off. Shut the unit off at the valve, which will, will uh, kill the pilot light. And then uh, if you have another shut off valve um, somewhere else in the house, it's probably recommended that you shut that off as well. And then uh, once fall comes around and you're, you're ready to start burning, um, you ignite the pilot light once, and once the pilot light is lit, it's a very easy control. All you do is you walk over to the unit, turn the knob from low to high, it comes on, it's adjustable for any height of flame, um, and it's a very easy operation. And you don't have to uh, be worried about the gas building up inside the firebox and having that big explosion uh, where it burns your eyebrows off. So that's the, uh, those part numbers are listed with the video for a manual pilot control. Now let's say that I don't want to use a manual pilot control, whether it's due to an injury or it's just due for me want, not wanting to get off the couch. What do they do for that? Well, you can actually get a remote control, millivolt pilot light valve for your gas log unit. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Uh, sit back in your easy chair, hit the button on the remote control, poof, it comes right on. It's, uh, it's very convenient, very easy, uh, very nice actually. Um, with that type of unit, you would want to leave your damper open uh, all the time because you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't want to have to get up, go open your damper, then go back to your easy chair, hit the remote control. Um, so you'd want to leave your damper open all the time. Um, with, the, uh, with the remote control, it's basically the same as your regular standing pilot light valve but it has what's called a millivolt valve that is part of it. And then a receiver will actually go inside the firebox and the receiver will connect right to the standing pilot light valve. And then the remote control will send the signal to the receiver that will trigger the flow of gas to open up and come on. So you have manual pilot controls, you got millivolt pilot controls that, that are enabled, uh, it's, it's a kit and it's, it's attached to this video. There, it is a pretty easy install and if you have any questions once you get your product, you can feel free to do live chat or just send us an email or call us uh, for, we can walk you through an installation. But the biggest thing is that they're listed here, they're easy to buy and they could ship, uh, they could be just shipped directly to you for you, the do-it-yourselfer that wants to knock this project out and, and do it themselves and understand what they're doing. So the product, the, the, the main points then, Dean, are determine what type of gas you want and determine what type of burning system you want, whether it be a manual, if you don't mind getting up and replacing it. I'm sure the manual, obviously, it comes in a little bit cheaper than the, uh, than the whole kit for the, uh, for the conversion. But again, some people can't get off that couch. Some people will have an illness or, or a disability where they, they may need a remote or they just want a remote. Uh, you know, I, if, if, if I always look at things, if you're doing this one time, you know, it's not something that you want to, you might change your mind later. So, you know, if you're doing it one time, I always tell the customer, if you're doing this once, you do the right thing you know, or do what you think that you might want um, that you're going to be 100% committed to. Because if you, if you want a remote control, do it now because you're not going to be able to do it later because you're going to have to rebuy the whole system again. So. Look underneath, if you have any questions, again, give us a call. But these pilots are pretty easy. They are a do-it-yourself project, I believe, for the do-it-yourselfer. Uh, there's people that we, we service every day uh, that uh, don't feel comfortable doing it, which we would be more than happy to uh, come up and service your house. Uh, we do both, and that's one of the conveniences here at Chimney Cricket. And uh, pilot controls, just another product here at ChimneyCricket.com.